Hi, I'm Malit Chachere and welcome to this special series of Earth from Space interviews on the European Space Agency Web TV. Thousands of people are currently debating possible political countermeasures to climate change at the COP21 summit in Paris. The UN Framework Convention on Climate Change has long recognized the need for global observations of so-called essential climate variables, which we at ESA are providing from satellite data within its climate change initiative. Some of the leading scientists on the essential climate variables have been kind enough to explain just what they're measuring within their project, why it's needed, and what it is good for. Let's go take a look. Land cover is a critical variable for the uh, land carbon uh, models and because it acts uh, both as a cause and as a consequence of the clim climate change. And so it can be used in an initial condition for uh, both uh, carbon stocks and carbon uh, fluxes in climate models. And it also can be used as a proxy for uh, uh, describing land human activities and the uh, language can also be used to uh, validate the model outcomes. We have uh, generated three global language maps over 2000, 2005 and 2010 epochs, each epoch being representative of a five-year period. And for this we have used uh, the entire archive of two different satellites, uh, the Maurice and the Spot Vegetation one. We also have a scientific challenge in terms of climate uh, modeling. They will have to uh, assess the impact of these new land cover maps on their model performance. A third kind of challenge uh, is the uh, more technical, and it is related to the handling of such a huge amount of data that we will have to uh, work with uh, in the coming years.